what's good josh your boy ross back at again with another video so as i was watching biggie win the wwe championship and watching that beautiful moment it was uh, uh definitely uh, a moment that uh a lot of people hopefully will remember and cherish um, because Big E finally won the big championship, the WWE championship, and it was good to see. But as I was thinking about that, I was thinking about the potential feuds that he will have in his title reign, and I hope he has some, some good ones. We all know Bobby Lashley is not done with him. He's going to try to regain his title, and hopefully they book it correctly and have Big E win and retain his title so i could see them doing a promo between those two well not a promo but like a a, a storyline segment between those between bobby lashley and uh biggie so i could see that happening for a little bit but i wanted to really think about long term i i do feel like he can face some more some more top uh tier competitors um i'm not really so sure who would be next in line after Bobby Lashley? So comment down below. Let me know if you guys, who you guys could think of, could face him, like on a heel side of things. Obviously, it would be better if a heel was to face him um, in the future because I don't really watch Raw like that. But the one thing I was thinking of later down the line, after he's faced some good opponents, some good heels, I was thinking maybe, just maybe. He faces his New Day brothers. Now, here's the thing about this storyline that would be so great. The fact that it makes sense. It works. Let's, let's break it down. Kofi, one of the first New Day members to actually get the WWE Championship. He had the championship. They were they were behind him every step of the way. It would make sense for him to want to regain the title. And Xavier Woods, the guy that's had both of their backs, time in and time out, never actually got, got the title. And I'm pretty sure he would love to be a WWE champion as well. If you're in the company, I would think you want to be WWE champion at some point. So... Imagine that. Kofi trying to regain the title. Xavier actually trying to win his first WWE championship. I think that's that's a nice little storyline just on its own. If you were all if you were just to keep them face faces. But I think it works better if one of them turn heel. Now you can go Kofi. Maybe have Kofi go heel and be like, you know what? I couldn't get the job done. I couldn't beat uh big uh not biggie i couldn't beat bobby lashley when i needed to and then you was able to cash in on the opportunity while he was already hurt you know what i'm saying so you know i want to i want a title opportunity at you you know they, they can come up with some type of storyline to create that dissension with kofi or they can do it with xavier xavier hasn't even had a chance to even sniff the wwe championship so he could say look i've had your guys you guys back time in and time out and i've never had the opportunity to be in a wwe championship like main event stage it's my time i know what i can do in this ring i know what i bring to this group it's my time and I, they could go both routes with that but i think what will work perfectly is if one went heel and one was kind of like he wasn't heel. He was literally in the middle, trying to mend mend the group, trying to put put the group back together. If they were to go that route, and I I think personally, I would like to see Xavier as a heel, only because it would be a nice character change, and it's not even that it would be bad. It's because it's understandable for him to feel that way, because Kofi's already been at the at the top of the mountain. Big E just now got to the top of the mountain. Xavier's never gotten to the top of the mountain yet. He's always been there to help them, but he's never gotten to WWE championship level. So that's why it would make sense if Kofi was, uh, if Xavier was to go heel, 
because you could you could understand why he feels the way he feels. He's like, damn, man. Like maybe they can do some little segments. Or not segments, but maybe there could be like a backstage segment and somebody's kind of stirring the pot. It's like, that's crazy. Big E, WWE champion. Kofi, WWE champion. Xavier? Why you haven't become WWE champion yet? Just planting seeds. I think that would be dope. I think that would be cool. And like I said, if they booked it correctly, let it take time to build. Let it be a slow build, but something that fans are starting to pick up on. And then you you pull the trigger on it. And I think it would create a nice storyline because universally, the people love the New Day. They're universally loved by the fans. So it's cool when one of them win, you feel like all of them win. But in real world, there can only be one winner in a situation like this. You can't just have multiple WWE champions. It can only be one. And they all can't be champions at the same time. So somebody has to be the winner here. And I, I think that would create a very good story to tell on Monday Night Raw. Because Monday Night Raw needs a compelling story. SmackDown is good. They're, they're straight. Anything that Roman's involved in usually the storyline is pretty great they also have some sideline stories that are pretty serviceable raw needs a good story to hook you in and they've started with biggie being the new champ hopefully they continue like i said with the bobby lashley feud i think that'll be pretty decent and other potential feuds with heels that you know hopefully they're able to put on some good matches and like i said i want them to if they do do this to do the one of the members turn on Big E storyline. I think they should wait. Wait for it to kind of, you know what I'm saying, just like his title reign is really setting in and he's, you know, becoming a legitimate title holder. Like he, you know, Big E is, he's kind of hard to defeat. And if they book him that way, I think that'll be cool. That's dope. It works. And then you go with the storyline. And what better way to catch Big E off guard than one of your best homies, your best friends attacking you from behind, stabbing you in the back because he feels like it's his time. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Who knows you better than your one of your best friends? Who knows you better than him? That's an easy, that's an easy way to set that storyline up, man. So comment down below. Let me know. Would you guys be interested in in like one of the New Day members turning on Biggie to ultimately start a feud for the title. Honestly, uh, for Biggie's championship. Honestly, I would love to see them at some point, maybe in a triple threat match. I think that would be pretty cool. But like I said, comment down below. Let me know if you guys would be interested in a storyline like that. Or if you guys could come up with something better involving the New Day. I, I just think... If you want to have a great storyline for his title reign involving Kofi, involving Xavier in the title picture, not only would it get Xavier in that main event exposure, but I think they would put on some, some pretty great matches because they know each other. So I think those matches would be great. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys agree with me on that point. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.